Hi, everyone. Today we are going to learn how you can use Google Sheets to create your very own fill in story, Mad Lib style Google Sheets activity. And it's really simple to do. We just have two columns here on sheet one, one with the description, one with the answers. And after students type in the answers, thanks to a simple formula, the story will auto populate on sheet two. And I'm really excited to show you how to make this happen. The first step to creating your own Mad Lib style activity is to write the story in Google Docs. Then look over the story and highlight the words or bold the words that you will have the students replace during the activity. Next, open up Google Sheets and you are only going to need two columns for this activity one for the description and one column for the answers. Now go back to your Google Docs story and see how many different parts of speech you will need to enter for the description. So if you highlighted a proper noun, you'll add that. If you highlighted three or four adjectives, make sure you have an adjective for each of those words. And then also include any descriptions or examples. To get rid of all the extra columns and rows in your Google Sheets, I use the Crop Sheet extension. All you need to do is highlight the information that you want to keep, go to your Crop Sheet extension that you can get in the Chrome Web Store, and select and select crop to selection. This will provide you with only the two columns for the description and the answers. I also use the paint bucket to fill in each of the cells with paint. And I also go to Canva to create my headers. So I create a free educator account at Canva and I insert my header by going to insert image insert image in the cells. Now, another thing I do is I also will merge some of the cells. So in order to insert this image, I had to merge. And here's how that works. When you have a row, so let's insert a row above, okay? It may have more than one cell. And as you can see here, we have two different cells. To merge these, you just select both of the cells or all of the cells and you go to format merge cells and I'm going to merge horizontally and that just allows me to insert an image that goes all the way across both column A and column B and then of course I will highlight all the words change the fonts and the font size. You can also include audio directions by using the Moat extension. So if you haven't checked out the Moat extension in the Chrome Web Store, you could do that. So if you wanted to have all of these descriptions read to students, you could click on the Moat extension. Enter a proper noun. The proper noun is the name of any person, place, or thing. Now you can just copy this link and you can include the audio recording right here. So um, that would differentiate for any students that need the descriptions read aloud to them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new sheet just by clicking the plus sign. And I'm going to select an area on the sheet to merge the cells, creating one large cell where the story will auto populate. I will then merge some more cells around and use the paint bucket to make it look pretty. And I, of course, created my header image in Canva. Now it's time to enter our formula. This formula will make the responses from the sheet one, which we titled Mad Lib, appear in this cell that we created here. So what you're going to do is you are going to create a simple formula. And formulas always start with an equal sign. And throughout the storyline, whenever you want the student response to appear, you are going to write the name of the sheet, which I titled Mad Lib, an exclamation point, and then the row and the column 
that has that student response. So for example, throughout the story, we want the answer the student entered in um, cell B21 to appear here, cell B7 to appear here, cell B10 to appear here, cell B8 to appear here and throughout. So you're really just copying a pattern. Now, when you want the storyline to continue with the original text, you are just going to use quotes, a space, and you're going to type in the story, space quote, right? And then you have the and symbol here before each of the student responses. So if you want to start from scratch and create your own fill-in story, I did include the directions in one of my blog posts. So you could read these directions and try testing it out yourself. Or you can just modify the templates that I have shared with you. Have fun creating your own Mad Lib style Google Sheets activity.